Las Vegas, CES right now. I'm checking out the latest, coolest tech. Uh, Silvox outdoor TV manufacturer invited me to check out their products. Let me show you around. This is pretty cool. I have never seen anything like this, to be honest. All right. I'm trying to use a, uh, be as stable as possible with my selfie stick. So the first thing you notice is the outdoor TV, which is completely waterproof. They even have a little waterfall here. We'll come back uh, for more details. And then I'm not sure a lot of people would notice the screen on top is actually a wirelessly stitched up screen matrix, which requires no hardware. Uh, there's another version over here. They have a little ca cafe area uh, set up. They also have the uh, countertop like menu, super slim, uh, sleek menu display here with animations. A lot of people just came here asking for a cup of coffee, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, it's just a prop. They also have a vertical outdoor TV mounted, 65 inch, the RV area. Yeah, I just want to give you a quick tour and we'll be back for more details. The kitchen TV, which can be folded and rotated. The bathroom TV, which is waterproof and a battery powered waterproof TV that can be used around the pool and it will actually float when it's in the water. And I already have that one and the uh, bathroom TV, of course. And this video is sponsored by Sealbox. So over here, we got another 75 inch, 120 hertz refresh rate outdoor TV 4K. I believe this one is mini QLED. Check out the spec here, 2,500 nits. This is incredible. <laughs> Super bright, it goes incredibly bright, completely waterproof. Uh, speakers on, uh, in front. And this one, I, I don't think it's uh, available yet. It's kind of a TV in the box, which can be raised up and down. Okay, let's check out their most popular outdoor TV. Ooh, selfie stick really helps. So this one has 2,000 nits available in 45 inch, 55, 65, and 75 IP55 waterproof rating. It is currently paired with the uh, sound bar. It does support the uh, Dolby Atmos. Super high contrast. This one over here is also a 65 inch. The design is a bit different. The speakers are down firing. It's not uh, front facing like the other one. Most physical com buttons controls over here. Android TV 11 OS. They even set up a little uh, water pump down there to uh, keep the water dripping. This is very interesting. And moving over here. Oh, by the way, I really want to check out the wirelessly connected matrix panel. So this is a 32 inch mirror TV. Power off. When it's off, it is just, uh, it's, it, it looks just like a mirror. Quite futuristic. I did a, a full YouTube review on the 24 inch version. It is uh, waterproof, waterproof, of course. The 32 inch uh, version has, is a bit more difficult to mount. Let me show you what's behind the scenes. So this guy is kind of, uh, you, have, you have to cut out the hole before you finish the bathroom wall. It's kind of uh, embedded into the wall to have this super slim profile. The remote is completely sealed and waterproof. So I'm not gonna mess with the 
thing because it's looping the same demo video right now. And I uh, reviewed this one. I have a very in-depth review on my YouTube channel for the 24-inch version. It looks gorgeous. Just a quick side-by-side -side comparison of two, two different size options. So you can uh, shower and brush teeth when watching movies or YouTube videos. Okay, moving over here, we got the 24-inch uh, camping RV TV and a 32-inch version. It is powered by 12 volt input, so you can plug into the car outlet and uh, use it in the, in the RV or any car. So I also did a DIY project on the 12 volt input so I can create a power delivery trigger to run this TV completely on the battery bank. Uh, that's on a different topic. I may create a separate video for this. Steel box soundbar. This is a mini soundbar, like about maybe 25 inches. Here we got some customers checking out their products. Um, uh, the under cabinet 15.6 inch 1080p TV will be a big hit, in my opinion. This is has a pretty slim design. It does have uh, two USB inputs. The thumb drive is connected. There is a there are actually two HDMI inputs. The um, RCA output, opt optical output, RJ45 Ethernet connection. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, bit more. The tuner input. It's an IPS screen, so the color saturation and viewing angle is great, as you can see from this view. Uh, three ways to mount it. You can also mount it on the wall or sit it on the desk or under the cabinet. This is a bamboo finish. This portable TV is probably the most interesting one, in my opinion. It is completely waterproof. You can use it in the pool. It will float. It has a kickstand. The remote is all compatible. It has voice command. It is powered by its built-in battery. It is charging right now. I found out the battery is user replaceable. So if you open up this compartment, that's where the battery is. So it, it's not permanently built in, not, not like a unserviceable uh, like that. So the kickstand is quite strong, it's metal. Uh, the connection wise, it has three ports, the DC 12 volt input, USB thumb drive input, and of course a TV tuner. So you can connect a, a regular TV FM antenna and be able to tune in um, live TV programs. Basically, the functionality is, pro is uh, pretty much the same as the rest of the uh, countertop or under cabinet TV above. It has touch sensitive buttons to switch source, mute, channel, um, selection, and volumes uh, increase or decrease. The controls are all the same. And this one has the um, the ability to set a timer is clearly designed for kitchen use. The bamboo finish, wood finish. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.